Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for a long-term review of the Krieger R25 Rucksack. Now when I say long-term, I really mean it. This is my backpack and I've ridden with it for over 10 years, so I've exceeded even Krieger's ridiculously long 10-year guarantee, so I can stand here quite confidently and give you some feedback on it. When I first started riding, I spent all my savings on a whole load of cheap tap, which fell apart instantly, and I was really upset. Tiny little fiddle, world's smallest violin, and poor me. So after that, I decided to invest in proper gear, and the Krieger R25 rucksack was the first thing I bought after that epiphany, and I'm glad to say I made the right decision. I was really impressed by Krieger's branding and the reputation as building quality products, and that's definitely true. So their approach has always been to design stuff based upon the best parts and materials available, and things like the price will simply come as a result of that. I happen to think the price is not too over the top, and I think you definitely get your money's worth with anything from their range. So all of their range come with this 10-year guarantee, and the R25 I chose, basically I needed enough space for commuting, but didn't want tons of excess storage. I use this for commuting every single day over the last 10 years. I've, it's seen me through phases from sports bikes to adventure, through to this kind of custom scene now. I even take it away skiing, snowboarding, and it's come touring all around Europe with me on several occasions. So here it stands. This is my working version. And I'm proud to say every single detail with this backpack has remained absolutely unfaltered by all of the abuse that I've thrown at it. I wouldn't class myself as a particularly careful owner. Uh, things basically have to just get on. And this has seen full outfits come and go and deteriorate. And it's remained completely as it was originally all the way through. So all of the bits of plastic, all of the buckles, all of the straps and the strap holders, they all fit exactly as they did. Nothing has broken. The zips, the YKK zips, they are all perfect. All the pulls are still in place. The actual fabric of the bag itself has not torn in a single spot. The straps and the system works perfectly, just as it was meant to. So one of the reasons I really liked the uh, R25 is this quad lock system that Krieger have on several of their bags. It's so simple to operate with gloves on. You simply have these two kind of button dials which are on this kind of plastic part and they just clip in really easily. That's designed so you can use it with gloves on the go and it works so nicely and because of the nature of the design, there's really very little chance of anything becoming defective over time. Obviously these ones still working perfectly. You've got some great adjustment straps all designed so you can use on the go with these high quality metal parts. So everything can be tailored in depending on how much storage you've got. Equally around the back you have those straps on the actual main compartment to compress down anything so things don't rattle about too much. Day to day I tend to fit kind of a laptop 15 inch and a pair of trousers and a pair of shoes in the back with no problem at all. The way that the shoulder straps are designed with the padding on the back and the padding on the shoulder straps themselves makes it very comfortable and I never feel like I'm carrying as much as I am. Going touring, I simply team this up with Krieger's US dry bag, 20 liter. You've got different uh, options when it comes to the actual storage capacity, and that suits me perfectly for up to about 10 days away. And I really love this little accessory that you can add to any of Krieger's bags. This is the Krieger harness pocket, and it's got a waterproof YKK zip. I don't know exactly how big the storage size is, but it's bigger than an iPhone 6, I can tell you that. And it's a great place to fit your passport, your wallet, your keys, you know, anything you might need on the go, particularly useful when touring and going through tolls and stuff like that so that you don't need to take the bag off plus i love the look it looks really cool a bit action man people always think i'm about to parachute uh, maybe just kind of base jump off the next cliff on my motorcycle so i can't rate this bag highly enough i think given the lack of kind of love and affection that i have shown it it's fared unbelievably well to see me through all those phases and it's still going strong. It doesn't show any sign of uh, kind of a built-in obsolescence that you get with most of the products that are designed across all the different industries these days. So Krieg have done themselves proud. I put my money, uh, invested it wisely in this bag and would urge you to do the same. So you can't go wrong with Krieger. If you have any questions, comments or feedback at all uh, about the bag, as I said, with this particular one, I think I'm quite well placed to answer any of those questions. Uh, so do that in the comments section below and we'll get back to you shortly. And do stay tuned and subscribe. There's great stuff coming out from brands like Krieger for this riding season, but others in our luggage section too. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.